Hi, this is Milan of So Natural Wellness. So in today's episode, since you, if you have been following, make sure that you subscribe because you want to make sure that you receive all of my updates as I produce them. like yourself you're probably uh, trying to achieve and maintain a healthy lifestyle it's just not easy and here I am in Chicago the merchandise mart in a food court so this is not the easiest place to be but if you've been having food cravings and you're fighting them but it seems like your cravings are really getting the best of you especially this time of the year when there's decadent desserts that's bountiful and lots of food laden with sauces that are just really almost impossible to get to get to go past and get get up but i'm not just speaking about cravings that tend to be yearly based or even cravings that are hormonal there are a lot of different types of food cravings but i want you to know that we usually give in to our food cravings for several different reasons and one of those reasons is isolation um, if you're maybe in a country by yourself and your family is abroad, you're an expat, or maybe it's out of boredom. You know, you, 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 you did all your projects for the day and you're you know, waiting for the day to end and you're waiting on a client, so you just grab something without even thinking about it. Or is it loneliness? That's another reason that many people get into food cravings. Loneliness, maybe loneliness from a loveless marriage or loneliness from feeling that you're by yourself. You know, like I said, just being in a country by yourself or being in a new state by yourself. Being with other people who are eating, you know, you give in to cravings when you're around others that are eating certain foods that you're like, oh, this is not really for me, but I'm gonna have some anyway because I don't wanna be the only one to eyeball out. And there's also psychological cravings, hunger, being feeling fatigued. So there's so many different reasons why you could be feeling that your cravings are getting the best of you. So I'm going to share with you four of my strategies for conquering food cravings if that's, been your, if that's been your problem. So the first one you really need to understand is what exactly and why you're craving what you're craving. And knowing this knowledge will really, really empower you today. So the second one is to realize that food cravings are linked to nutritional deficiencies. I know that may be new for you and maybe you've never even heard that stated before. But chew on this for a second. Chocolate. Chocolate, it comes from a magnesium deficiency. Bread comes from a deficiency in your body of nitrogen. And if you're craving something like coffee and dark chocolate, now there's such thing as a um, recurring migraine from caffeine but I'm talking about a craving for it something that you always feel like you have to have well if that's been your case then that links to an iron deficiency and you know how whenever um, especially if you still have your menstrual cycle that when you're you know going through that period your body becomes weak and you because you're losing blood well with caffeine, don't you feel this sort of a, a weakness and you need something to just get you to the next level or to perk you up? So, coffee, uh, caffeinated beverages, coffee and black tea is linked to a iron deficiency. Now here's the third one, which may also be really interesting to you as well. So the best way to really break the relationship with food cravings, if that's been your case, is to rearrange the cues. So if you know that a certain time of the day or a certain location produces food cravings, then just avoid those cues. Figure out another route home if you're passing it, maybe you, if you live in an urban city like myself and you walk home, then rearrange that cue. If you pass a certain location when you're driving home from work or going to your car, parked in a lot, rearrange that cue because that's what's making you get into that craving. And the fourth strategy that will really help you to conquer your food craving is the simplest, simplest of them all, and also the hardest of them all. And that's avoidance. And it is really hard to avoid certain cravings that seem to be really strong for you because it's so strange, so strong. A lot of times you may even need support. And just getting through 
that um, getting through that part of your life where you are experiencing a lot of cravings and it's starting to affect your health, it's starting to affect, uh, affect your body in the process. So now that you have those four strategies, I want you to keep this in mind. Cravings, they come in waves. They are, um, and they come in waves because they're controlled by your brain. So oftentimes, you know, when you, um, when you feel that there's this missing nutrient or you see that there's this mis missing nutrient for your body, it's really, cra the, the, the craving will subside once you feel this missing void. So let me repeat that. Once you feel this missing void of this nutrition deficiency, normally that craving will subside. Okay? You got that? Now, as long as your cravings are just that, then you're okay. But it becomes a problem when living a health style is really starting to affect your life, it's starting to affect your body, and it's become an addiction for you. That's when a problem sets in. So, something that you must um, have that will affect your that will affect you. That's that's when it's an addiction, and that's when you really need to get support and help for that. Now. As we've talked about in many of my um, videos about cravings and about um, deficiencies and uh, listening to the language of your body, when you really start to understand uh, what your body is saying to you, the meaning, then you're more apt to take strategic action because it's a no-brainer. Now, here's the last thing I want to want you to walk away with in, from this broadcast today, that... Um, Sometimes our body desires a treat. Like I said, you see where I'm sitting in a food court. Sometimes your body's just going to need a treat and it's going to desire the treat. And I'm not telling you to um, ignore that. If you feel that you need a treat, then go on by all means, have your treats. For example, if I'm craving chocolate, because I know I'm having this uh, magnesium deficiency, you barely believe I'm going to have some chocolate. And I try to get really dark chocolate to, so that way I can have just one piece and then I'm okay. So that uh, desire for that craving has been satisfied and it's been filled. Now, I want you to also uh, sometimes just realize you have to refocus your thoughts. And if you're having a problem really getting control of what you're eating and how you're eating, then you have to refocus your thoughts. And the long-term adjustment is figuring out what exactly is causing that craving so that you can really find yourself um, and reward you. So you can really reward yourself and that will not be as hard on you. And that's what I really want you to understand is that your body has a language. Your body speaks to you in so many different ways. It's that if you're not getting the results that you want to live a healthy lifestyle, it could be because you're just not understanding what your body's saying so you have to lean in and really be attuned to that so this is what I'm going to offer you today I'm going to offer you an opportunity to hop on the call with me I'm offering my seven week reconnect to the language of your body program and that's an opportunity for you to understand the cravings of your body realize what your body is saying to you how to get to a healthy size and the strategies that you need to keep your weight off. If you feel that you're a fairly healthy person but you still need a little support, I think this would be the perfect strategy for you. So I'm going to include the link and if this sounds like something that you really enjoy, send me, a, send me a private message. Let me know. Or just go to my website and follow the link to schedule an appointment to talk with me. So until our next time together, stay beautiful and healthy.